The Snowy Mountains region is an exceptional place and a special environment. It's best known for Australia's highest mountains and the nation's finest ski resorts. But it's also home to some of the nation's most unique wildlife and the Snowy Mountains Hydroelectric Scheme. But snowfall has been gradually decreasing over the last 50 years, seriously depleting water resources which are the lifeblood of much of regional Australia. Now, scientists are confident that cloud seeding can be used to increase natural snowfalls, so Snowy Hydro is conducting a carefully designed six-year experiment to confirm these benefits. Research has shown that under certain conditions, clouds passing over the Snowy Mountains often contain large amounts of water at temperatures below freezing. This is known as supercooled liquid water. However, these particular clouds are naturally inefficient at producing snow and simply evaporate as they descend and warm on the eastern side of the mountains. This results in a natural phenomenon known as a rain shadow. But the excess water in these clouds can be made to fall as snow by introducing tiny particles for the water to freeze to. Snowy hydro scientists monitor the approaching weather systems to identify clouds that are suitable for seeding. A network of 13 generator sites along the western side of the mountain range burn minute amounts of silver iodide solution to create artificial ice forming particles which are swept up into the passing clouds. Invisible to the naked eye, each silver iodide crystal is so small that more than 300 million would fit on the head of a pin. The targeted clouds contain enormous volumes of supercooled liquid water droplets and when they come in contact with a silver iodide crystal, they freeze onto it and a tiny snowflake begins to form. As more and more water droplets attach and freeze, the snowflake continues to grow until it becomes too large to remain in the cloud and falls to the ground. The natural process of snow, helped along by scientists, has far-reaching benefits. Habitats of endangered species such as the mountain pygmy possum are improved. The local economy thrives with people travelling to the region from all over the country to enjoy the snow. The Snowy Mountains Scheme uses the melting snow to generate clean, renewable energy, powering homes and industry right across the country. And the water, which was once snow, is finally sent westward when released into the Murray River for irrigation, underpinning a significant proportion of Australia's agriculture and thousands of jobs. The cloud seeding trial covers about 1,000 square kilometres, but potentially could occur over a target area as much as three times larger than the area currently allowed by government. The results of this trial so far have been very encouraging and stakeholders are already calling for an expansion to the program. Cloud seeding has been used in many countries around the world for more than 50 years and scientists agree that under the right conditions, cloud seeding is an effective method for increasing snowfall. Snowy Hydro, working with nature to increase snowfall in the snowy mountains.